been a bit wet um, so when we're trying to like the ghillie kettle even though the wood's dead and essentially dry it's been uh, difficult to get going in the bottom and uh, creating a lot of smoke so what I done last night is I thought ahead and while the sun was out and the wood was born dry I filled the bottom of the ghillie kettle here with some really good dry wood so hopefully we'll get a nice clean burn for coffee this morning to find myself a home I've just stopped off in Tremp to get some supplies. There's a decent sized supermarket in here and a couple of butchers and bakeries. So it's a good opportunity to get some food in. So we've just been through Tremp and a short distance outside of Tremp is the abandoned village of Aramunt which is somewhere that I really wanted to see on this trip. I, I've looked at some pictures online and it's, it's a really fascinating place by all accounts so we're here. It took us a while to, to find the place but um, it's on top of this uh, hill, it overlooks a big uh, reservoir that way and then there's a a new town down the bottom so I guess maybe some of the residents who used to live here moved down there I don't know so let's uh, let's check it out It's a bit of a climb, but uh, what a fascinating place. No idea how long it's been abandoned for. But it's, uh, wow. There's the cemetery. So this looks like what used to be the church. Ugh. 
not really too sure about going into these buildings without a hard hat on but wow yeah this is the church looks like it was built in 1877 you can still see the colour there on the altar wow this is unreal So it looks like you can get in and explore a bit further down in front of the church, but uh, it looks really, really dodgy. Everything's really starting to crumble. I guess that it gets fairly weather beaten up here. As you can see, it's like really high up. Uh, but uh, yeah, what a shame. But there's no electricity pylons running anywhere near here. There'll be no water, no gas. So I guess life must have been really hard for people, you know, sometimes you think there's a village down there by the reservoir with uh, electricity, gas, running water, and you think, well, who isn't going to move down there, you know, or, or leave for somewhere better? It's just uh, yeah, a bit of a remnant of the past, really, isn't it? A little bit of Spanish history. Well, that was it. We've had seven days of uh, perfect sunshine, beautiful weather, 25, 26, 27 degrees every day. We've had a good look around Aramont and then it started raining. All right, now it rains pretty heavy in these mountains. <laughs>